are going to talk about some of my best travel hacks. School will be out soon, you'll be taken to the road, and this will help you travel quickly and easily. First thing I want to talk to you about is my favorite packing system. These are packing cubes. And if you look in here, I have six tops folded in to this one cube. And I could actually put in a couple more. You zip them up, put them in your suitcase. When you get to your location, open them up, put them in the drawer, and you're already unpacked. They are phenomenal. And they don't let anything wrinkle. Now, where do I get them? I get them on Amazon.com. They have all different brands, but look under packing cubes. And they run around $20 for a set of four. There's all different sizes. And I get one color for me, one color for my husband. And when we unpack, we know where our own clothes are. And if you have dirty clothes when you're done with the trip, the clean ones are always put away so you can hang them up when you get home. Next thing, if you're going to the airport and you're going through security, you know you can't take your bottles through that are full of water. Instead, take an empty bottle or two through, fill it with water at the drinking fountain, and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about buying water at one of those expensive stores. Now, when you get to the location, you're going to want to clean and sanitize a little bit in the room because one of the dirtiest things you can touch are the phone, the remote control, the light switch and the handles in a hotel. So a couple things, you can take your wipes with you, you can take some hand sanitizer and even use that to clean surfaces. Or you can take some antimicrobial mouthwash like Listerine. So not only can you sanitize in the room, but you can give yourself some fresh breath anytime you need to. Now when you're packing blouses and shirts, particularly men's shirts, the thing that gets crushed is the collar. So what I do is I roll up the belt, put it in the neck, and then the collar cannot crush down in the suitcase. And you can fit these shirts into your packing cubes easily. Now, when you're taking your jewelry, easy way to do that is with some pill cases. Now, I particularly like this one because it has different sizes, and you just take them apart, put them back together, put the lid on, throw it in your suitcase, and you can see what's in each one. Q-tips, throw them into a pill bottle, and one of the things I hate when I travel is laying my toothbrush down on the sink. And I don't want to put it away right away because it's wet. So I just take a clip clothespin with me, put it on the sink, let it dry out. Now, if you've got large makeup items and you want to cut down on the size of them, use some interesting, any kind of little things you've got that work well for you to put eye cream, moisturizers, my face bathe, I don't want to carry the whole thing with me, so I put it in a little case like this. These bottles are the right size for the airport, find them on Amazon. For the products you're taking with you, like your expensive eye cream, put a plastic bag or a piece of plastic wrap over it and then screw the lid on. And also, you're taking a razor with you, you don't want to get cut use a binder clip for it. It'll keep it safe. When you reach in your bag, you won't cut yourself. And remember, take along a plastic bag with some fabric softener sheets in it. Toss it in your shoes to keep them fresh smelling. You can use it to rub over clothes that have static cling. You can freshen the smell of the room with them. And if by chance you have to do some washing and drying, you've got a fabric softener sheet handy. So if you're looking for a printable copy of everything we talked about today, go to queenofclean.com. Check me out on Facebook at Real Queen of Clean. And as always, thanks for talking dirty with the Queen of Clean.